Are you a two character tab person or a four character tab person? If like me, you answered yes to either one of those, what you are is an asshole. And that's because tabs and indentations are eight characters. I know, crazy, right? But what about when you're on that 20th hour of reading through some complex code? Which of these is easier to look at? And before you say that eight character indentations push the code off to the right side of the screen, let me stop you right there. Is the problem with this code the eight character indentation or the fact that this code is nested to oblivion? Maybe what's actually happening here is the indentation is trying to warn us. Now, people usually have their own opinions about what the cutoff point is for how long lines of code should be. But I think it's safe to say we all agree that code shouldn't be going off the side of the screen if we can help it. But something that we should be careful about when breaking down these long lines is to never break user visible strings or log messages. So let's imagine we have some log message that results in a super long line of code and naturally we decide to break it in half. But now, if the program is running and we want to grep for this log message specifically, we'd actually notice that we can't filter logs with that specific message, and that's because the message is now split into two lines. Now, don't be too bummed because we actually can still manage to break apart this line in most languages by just opting for concatenation still enabling us to break the line of code. And this will result in the message being on one line, allowing us to grep for it specifically. The maximum length of a function is inversely proportional to the complexity and indentation level of that function. I know, it's a mouthful but it just means that as a function's complexity and indentation increases, the maximum allowed length of that function should decrease. And complexity and indentation are grouped together in this case because more levels of indentation usually means increased complexity and vice versa. So if you have a simple function or a function that's not so complex, like one long but simple case statement, with a bunch of different but simple cases, it's okay to have a longer function. Never try to explain how your code works in a comment. So we're presented with a common example of some clever but difficult to read code. And if you're not an experienced C developer, you might have a hard time understanding what's happening here. So maybe the dev tries to compensate by writing comments explaining how this code works in detail. By this point, said dev is likely wasting their time and are better off refactoring the code so that how it works is obvious. You can then reserve the use of comments to explain what your code does. 